Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to show you how you can measure your heart rate recovery at the end of an activity using your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter if you've got one of the solar versions or non-solar versions, this video is going to work the same for everybody. So what exactly is your heart rate recovery? Heart rate recovery is basically a calculation of how fast your heart decreases at the end of an activity after you've stopped. Uh, some Fitness devices measured in one minute increments. The Garmin Instinct measures it in two minute increments. We'll see that here in a second. So I'm gonna go through this fairly quick. I'm kind of assuming you've watched some of my videos before. You know how to do activities on your Garmin Instinct watch. So we're gonna jump straight into it. To do an activity, we're gonna press the GPS button, which is the upper button on the right hand side. And then you should have a list of all of your favorite activities. We can choose any one that we want to. I'm gonna choose run. I thought it might be better for this video to actually do an activity and then do the heart rate recovery just after the activity. You don't have to have GPS for this. You really don't have to have anything, but you have to have the heart rate turned on for the activity. If you've watched my videos before, you know that per activity, you can control whether or not you've got the heart rate on, GPS on, etc. You got to have heart rate on in order for this feature to work. So now I'm ready to go do my activity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the watch on my wrist and I'm going to go do a run. To start the activity, all I'm going to do is press GPS to get it going. But I'm going to do a run real quick. I want to get my heart rate up, and then I'll come back over here. We'll finish the activity and measure my heart rate recovery. Okay, so I just finished a quick run. Excuse me, I'm breathing a little bit heavier. You can see here's my heart rate. If I want to check my recovery heart rate, all I'm going to do is press the GPS button. That's going to temporarily pause the exercise. Then I'm going to use the ABC button to go down, and I'm going to choose Recovery HR. I'm going to press GPS, and you'll see that it's now starting to measure my recovery heart rate. So this process takes two minutes. I might try and speed it up just so you don't have to sit here and watch it. And then we'll get to the end of it. I'll show you what the calculation looks like. Okay, so it's finished. You can see that my recovery heart rate is 26. That's not too great. I think you want to be between 25 and 30 in a one minute period. Because that was two minutes, you would hope it would be a little bit higher than 26. But nonetheless, that's my recovery heart rate. Once you're done, you can just press the back button to get back to the activity. You can either continue or you can discard the activity just like any other activity that you do. Try it on your next exercise. It's pretty neat just to see how your heart rate does. If your exercise is working every day when you do this, it should gradually get higher and higher. So it's a good measure to see if the activities that you've been doing have been helping out. As always, I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.